We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Adore his holy name this morning. Celebrate him. His word of our praise. His word of our praise. His word of our praise. Only and only a catole balamandolobo shalaha. Ali ababali andolobo sheke tuli ababababa. Ole bali abali abababa shundeli boli aba. Worship is holy name. You are awesome. In this place, my we go. You are awesome in this place. Abba Father. You are worthy of our praise. To you alone be you are awesome in this place, my God. You are awesome in this place, my God. Oh, you are awesome. You are awesome in this place, my Father. You are awesome. Awesome in this 
We welcome you. We believe you and we know that your presence is here with us. Welcome, blessed Trinity. Take your place in this service today. Do what only you can do. Visit your people. That which you have prepared for everyone today, Lord, let it be delivered to everyone. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' glorious name. Somebody shout a louder amen. God is here this morning and I know he will visit you. Somebody that is expectant this morning shout a louder amen. That which you believe God that brought you to this service today, you are going back with them as testimonies. 2017 is not over. Everything that is part of the, my case is different package for you. It shall be delivered to you this morning in the name of Jesus. Somebody that believes shout a louder amen. You are welcome. Help me welcome your neighbor to the left and to the right. Tell your neighbor you are welcome. Please have your seat in his presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give God all the glory for every one of us in service today. Including those on the way coming. In this special communion service, it's my joy to welcome every one of us. And today is the last Sunday communion service for the year. I thank God that you made it. Somebody shout hallelujah. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 8. The Bible says better is the end of the matter. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning. The end is always most glorious. It is one thing to begin something. But the glory is in finishing that end. It is one thing to begin a project. But the glory is in finishing the project. Praise the Lord. The end is better than the beginning. The end is better than the beginning. In 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 11. 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 11. The Bible says Solomon finished the house of the Lord. Where the glory is, is in the finishing anointing. And that's why I believe whatever you have started this year, you will finish it. Everyone that meant to be finished shall be finished. Somebody shout a louder amen. Somebody shout a louder amen. amen. Understand that we are still in 2017. And every prophetic word of 2015 is so then to be fed in our life. But we must obey to the end. Abraham obeys to the end. Abraham to emerge the symbol of generational blessings. I don't know what you have started what you started doing since the year began. But to get the full delivery of your prophetic packet for the year, you must obey to the end. God visited Abraham in Genesis chapter 12. 
Mungu alimtembelea Abraham katika mwanzo 12. And told Abraham to depart. Akamwambia Abraham aondoke. And Abraham departed as God was commanded. Abraham akaondoka kama Mungu alivyoagiza. In Genesis chapter 17 verse 9 to 14. Mwanzo 17 9 mpaka 14. God visited him again and told him to circumcise himself and everyone in his house. Akamtembelea tena akamwambia ajitahiri yeye na watu wote nyumbani mwake. Abraham Abraham obeyed. Abraham akatii. In verse 23 to 27. 23 mpaka 27. He circumcised himself and his son Ishmael and everyone born in his house. Thereafter, in Genesis chapter 22, verse 1 to 18, God appeared again. Mungu akatokea tena. And tested Abraham again. Akamjaribu Abraham tena. And say I need I want to eat your son Isaac. Akasema nataka kumla mwanao Isaac. And Abraham traveled for 3 days. Ibrahim Abraham akasafiri siku tatu. Located Mount Moriah. Akiutafuta mlima Moriah. And literally sacrifice his son. Na akidogo amtoe dhabihu mwanae. And God swore by himself. Na Mungu akajia pia yeye mwenyewe. In blessing that he will bless him. Kwamba katika kukubariki nitakubariki. He obeyed to the end. Alitii mpaka mwisho. Today he is a generational symbol of blessing. Yeye leo ndio mfano wa baraka za vizazi. In Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 and 14. Wa Galatia 3 13 The Bible says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of law. Anasema Kristo ametukomboa kutoka katika laana ya tolati. By being made a curse. Kwa yeye kufanyika kuwa laana. As it is written. Kama ilivyoandikwa. Curse is he that is on the tree. That the blessings of Abraham might come unto Gentiles. That the blessings of Abraham might come unto Gentiles. Everyone born again today is connected to this blessing of Abraham. Abraham obeys to the end. Most of us have given up even before the year is over. Wengi wetu tumekata tamaa hata kabla mwaka haujaisha. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. I say praise the Lord. Nasema bwana asifiwe. The same way Abraham obtained the promise. Vivyo vivyo kama Abraham alivyopata ahadi. You will obtain the promise. Wewe nao utapata ahadi. I say you will obtain the promise. Nasema utapata ahadi. And not hearing a bigger hymn. Sikusikii ukipaza amen. But there are little forces that spoil the vine. Kuna vimbweha vidogo vidogo vina vyaribu mtenke. In Sons of Solomon chapter 2 verse 15. Wimbo liobola mbili kuminatano. The Bible said there were little, little forces that spoiled the vine. Anasema viko vimbweha vidogo vidogo vina vyaribu mzabibu. And that's why in our teaching today. Jomana katika kichwa chetu cha somo leo. Next Sunday and the last Sunday of the month. Jumapili ya mwisho ya mwezi. We'll be looking at overcoming forces that stand against fulfillment of prophecies. Overcoming forces. That stand against fulfillment of prophecies. Overcoming forces. There are forces we must overcome. If the prophetic word for the year will be fulfilled between now and the end of the year. Somebody shout hallelujah. Remember that the prophetic focus is spirituality, secure destiny, and eternity. Spirituality secures destiny. Maisha kiroho yanatuakikishia hatima na maisha ya milele. And that is why for every one of us to receive every of the prophetic word for the year. Ndiyo mana kila moja wetu lazima lipoke neno la kinabila mwaka. The first thing that must be in place is spirituality. Cha kwanza kina chosh paswa kuwa ni ukiroho. Because the blessings of God are spiritual blessings. Kwa sababu baraka za mungu ni za kiroho. A kana man cannot get them. The church of God is a spiritual family. The things we do here, they are, they, they are interpreted spiritually. The they are interpreted spiritually. The reason many are in, in church but they don't get anything in church is because of carnality. in church but they don't get anything in church is because of carnality. Sababu kwa nini wengi wako kanisani lakini hawapati baraka kanisani kwa sababu wako katika kimwili. You need to embrace spirituality. Lazima ukumbatie maisha kiroho. It will benefit you here and thereafter. Yata kufaidia hapa na hata maisha ya jayo. In 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 8. Timotheo kwanza nene nane. The Bible says. Biblia nasema. Bodily exercise profited little. Anasema mazoezi ya mwili ya fakidogo. But godliness is profitable unto all things. Lakini utawa wafa katika mambo yote. Godliness is profitable. Utawa unafa. In other words. 
being spiritual is profitable. Living a holy life and a righteous life is profitable. Not in this world only, but after we left here. Sio tu katika dunia hii tu, lakini hata baada ya kuondoka katika dunia hii. Godliness deliver result here and thereafter. Utakatifu unakuletea matokeo hapa na baada ya maisha ya hapa. As God is preparing us for the prepared blessing for 2018. Kama ambavyo Mungu anatuendaa kwa ajili ya kile alichokiandaa mwaka 2018. He's telling us. Anatuambia. So there are small small forces. Kwamba kuna vinguvu vidogo vidogo. That spoil the vine. Kuna vimbwea vinavyoharibu mzabibu. There are small, small forces. Most of our challenges is not because of the devil is strong. Changamoto zetu mara nyingi sio kwa sababu shetani ana nguvu. We sit down and examine ourselves. Tukikaa tu chini tukajitathmini. We will find out that we are, will be unstoppable. Tutagundua kwamba sisi tuna uwezo tusiozuilika. The devil is not the way we ascribe power to him. Shetani hana nguvu kama sisi tunavyomuona kama anavyo. As a child of God the devil has no power to stop you. Kama mwana wa Mungu shetani hana nguvu ya kukuzuia. You are the only one that can stop yourself. Wewe tu ndio unaweza kujizuia. And that is why you must examine yourself. Na ndio maana lazima uj tathmini ujichunguze why is this thing happening this way bwana kwa nini hili jambo linaenda hivi you must sit down and examine yourself lazima ukae chini na kujichunguza mwenyewe the bible say if we judge ourselves biblia inasema kama tukijihukumu mwenyewe no one judge us hakuna atakaye tuhukumu the first judge of yourself is you wakimu wa kwanza wa kwako wewe ni wewe mwenyewe somebody shout hallelujah kaza hallelujah i say somebody shout hallelujah nasema paza hallelujah this is a desire of our president and our father Bishop David Repo to see 2017 prophetic package to be delivered fully to every one of us. Nitamani yola baba yetu askofo yede po kwamba fungu lote la nabiza mwaka fmina kumina saba likitimia kwetu. Maybe somebody will be saying labda mwingine anaweza kuwa anasema Oh this year is remaining few days. Mwaka huu zimebaki siku chache. It does not matter how many days this year remaining this year. Haijalishi zimebaki siku ngapi mwaka huu. When it comes to God, God is not moved by number of days. Inapofika swala Mungu, Mungu hashtuki na swala siku. One hour is like a, a, a thousand years is like one hour in the eyes of God. Sama miaka elfu ni kama saa moja kwa Mungu. Man is a product of one day. Man is a product of one day. Ah mwanadamu ni matokeo ya siku moja tu. He created man in one day. Alimuumba mwanadamu kwa siku moja. And it will not take God five minutes to change somebody's story. Na wala haitamchukua Mungu dakika tano kubadilisha historia yako kabisa. It will not take God five minutes to change your story. Haimgalimu Mungu hata dakika tano kubadilisha historia yako. Just believe God that between now and 31st of this month. Wewe muamini Mungu kwamba kati ya sasa na moja mwezi huu. That which he have said concerning you. Kile alichosema kukuhusu wewe. It shall be delivered to you in the name of Jesus. Kitatimia kwako katika jina la Yesu. And not he having if he got him. Amen. But there are forces to overcome. Ziko nguvu ambazo tunapaswa kuzishinda. If we must see prophecy fulfilled in our lives. Kama tunataka kuona nabii zikitimia maisha yetu. There are things to be aware of. Ziko vitu ambavyo lazima tuwe makini navyo. We are going to look at several of them today. Tutaviangalia vitatu leo. So important. Vya muhimu sana. At it concern this year and next year. Na nafikiri kuhusiana na mwaka huu na mwaka ujao. Remember that every prophetic word is ordained to be fulfilled. Kumbuka kila neno la kinabii limekusudiwa kutimia. God does not speak to entertain us. Mungu hasemi kutufu he only speak what he can do. Anasema kile anachoweza kukifanya. He speaks according to his capacity An, to perform. Anasema sawa na uwezo wake wa kutenda. That anything God has said concerning you and I. Kwamba kila kitu ambacho Mungu amesema kuhusiana na mimi na wewe. It is ordained to be fulfilled in our lives. Kimekusudiwa kutimia maishani mwetu. But every prophetic word have a responsibility attached to it. Lakini kila neno la kinabii lina majukumu au wajibu. As we have started celebrating new dawn. Kama ambavyo tumeanza kusherekea pambazuko jipya. We must first of all sit down and say what are the things I supposed to do. Lazima tukae chini tujiulize ni mambo gani nifanye. In order to see new dawn as I in my life. Ili nione pambazuko jipya likitokea maishani mwetu. One of them is spirituality. Moja ni ukiroho. You must be born again and live a righteous life. Lazima uokoke na uishi maisha ya kitakatifu. In last minute say, I Jumat said for you to have a new dawn there must be a new life. Jumatano iliyopita nilisema ili uwe na pambazuko jipya lazima uwe na maisha mapya. In second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. Wakorintho wa 2:5 hadi 17. If anyone is in Christ Jesus. Kama mtu yote akiwa katika Kristo Yesu. He's a new creature. Amekuwa kiumbe kipya. All things are passed away. Yakale yote yamepita. Everything becomes new. Kila kitu kinakuwa kipya. Everything around you must be new. Kila kitu kukuzunguka lazima kiwe kipya. You must 
change before new dawn will answer in your life. Lazima wewe ubadilike kabla ipambazo ko jipi alijaja maisha ni mwako. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifuwe. That's one responsibility. Huo ndio wajibu. Every prophecy that leaves all the responsibility on God is deceiving you. Unabii wote ambao unamwachia majukumu yote Mungu huo unabii unakudanganya. The Bible is not just a book of promise. Ndio maana Biblia sio kitabu cha ahadi tu. The Bible is a book of covenant. Pia ni kitabu cha agano. And covenant is a deal. Na agano ni mapatano. Enacted by God with a word of terms. Ambaye amewekwa na Mungu yakiwa na masharti. There are terms of every covenant. Ya kuna masharti kwa kila agano au mapatano. In every covenant we have with God. Kwa kila agano tulionao na Mungu. God is a covenantor. Mungu ndiye anayeweka agano. And we are the covenant. Na sisi tu pamoja naye. two parties in every covenant. Katika kila agano kuna pande mbili. And this part has his or her own function. Na hizi pande zote mbili zina masharti yake. There are things God will do. Kuna vitu ambavyo Mungu atafanya. There are things man will do. Kuna vitu ambavyo mwanadamu anapaswa kufanya. God will not do what man will do. Mungu kamwe hatafanya kile ambacho mwanadamu anapaswa kufanya. God will only do what he himself can do. Mungu atafanya kile ambacho yeye anatakiwa kufanya. He always leave man with responsibility. Na anamwachia mwanadamu wajibu wake. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kwanza hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kwanza hallelujah. In John chapter 2 verse verse 5. Yohana 2:5. Jesus has the power to turn water into wine. Yesu alikuwa na nguvu ya kubadilisha maji kuwa divai. He has the power to pray and everything will turn. Aka alikuwa na uwezo wa kuita chochote na kikawa. But he gave them a responsibility. Lakini aliwapa wajibu. Say go and fill the pot. Akasema nendeni mkajaze mabalasi na maji. As, as they took step to fill it. Walipochukua hatua ya kujaza. They covered it to fill. Wakajaza. He stepped in. Yeye akaingilia kati. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kwanza hallelujah. Go has the power. Mungu ana uwezo. To send a man go and be healed. Wakusema nenda na ukapone. But he gave him man a responsibility. Lakini alimwambia Naaman na alimpa wajibu. So go to the river and dip yourself seven times. Akaambia nenda katika ule mto ukajitumbukize mara saba. If you like you go if you don't like you remain. Ukitaka nenda ukitaka endelea kubaki mkoma. But Naaman took responsibility. Lakini Naaman akachukua wajibu wake. And he obeyed to the fool. Akatii yote. The last the seventh time he dipped himself. Mara ya pili alipojichovya. He, he came out as a their flesh was as flesh as a baby's form. Mara ya mwisho alipotoka kwenye maji anasema ngozi yake ilikuwa kama ya mtoto mdogo. Our challenges is with our inability to take responsibilities. Changamoto yetu ni kutokuwe kuchukua wajibu wetu. And it is my prayer that God will increase every one of us. Na ni maombi yangu kwamba Mungu ampe neema kila mmoja wetu. To do what is required. Afanye yale anayopaswa kuyafanya. In order to obtain the blessings of God in our lives. Ili apate baraka za Mungu maisha yetu. Somebody mwaka. shout amen. Kaza amen. Somebody shout a louder amen. Kaza amen. What are those forces to overcome? Hizo nguvu za kuzishinda ni zipi? Number 1. Moja. Beware of the evil heart of unbelief uwe makini na moyo mbaya wa kutokuamini to see prophecies with you beware of evil heart of unbelief ili uone nabii zikitimia kuwa makini na moyo mbaya wa kutokuamini hebu chapter 7 verse 12 waebrania 3:12 hebu chapter 7 verse 12 waebrania 3:12 join me and open that scripture fungua hilo andiko pamoja nami the bible said take he brethren asema angalieni ndugu zangu let there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief. Usiwe katika mmoja wenu moyo mbovu wa kutokuamini. In departing from the living God. Kwa kujitenga na Mungu aliye hai. Beware of evil heart of unbelief. Muwe makini na moyo mbovu. With evil heart of unbelief you can't see prophecy fulfilled. Kwa moyo mbovu wa kutokuamini kamwe hutaona nabii zikitimia. Unbelief is a satanic force. Kutokuamini ni nguvu ya kishetani. To overcome in order to see prophecy fulfilled. Ya kuishinda ili uweze kuona nabii zikitimia. No matter who prophesies to you Haijalishi ni nani anakutolea wewe unabii No matter what you get from scriptures Haijalishi unapata nini kutoka kwenye maandiko No matter who lay hands and lay head on you Hata nani akakuwekea mkono mguu kila kitu Until there is faith it can be fulfilled Paka kuwe na imani vinginevyo haviwezi kutimia Hebrew chapter 4 verse 2 Waebrania 4:2 The Bible said the word was preached unto them as well as unto us. Anasema neno lile lile lilihubiriwa kwetu kama kwao. And the word preached unto them did not profit them. Na lile neno walilohubiriwa hawakuwafaidia. Not be missed with faith in them that had it. Kwa sababu halikuchanganywa na imani. The prophetic word profits those 
who has faith who believe in it neno la kinabili linafaidia wale wenye imani wanaoamini he has a prophetic word for 2018 anasema yote aliyesikia maneno ya kitabu ya kinabii ya mwaka 2017 we had it in 2016 shilo kama vile tulivyosikia shilo 2016 but not everyone believe it lakini sio kila mtu aliamini as we are saying new dawn tunapoimba pambazo kwa jipya people are doubting it wengi wanatia mashaka to doubt is to have a double mind kutia mashaka ni kuwa na nia mbili au mawazo mawili for that the ability of God to do new things in our life. Hata kama wengi wana uwezo wa Mungu kufanya mambo mapya maishani. Be aware of evil heart of unbelief. Uwe makini na moyo mbaya, mbovu wa kutokuamini. We believe what doctors tell us and what God says. Tunaamini sana kile madaktari wanachotuambia kuliko kile Mungu anachotuambia. We believe what individual says more than what God says. Unaamini kile mtu mwingine tu anachokuambia kuliko kile Mungu anachokuambia. We believe what the economy is saying more than what God says. Tunaamini kile ambacho uchumi unasema kuliko kile ambacho Mungu anasema. We did not profit them because they did not miss it with faith. Neno halikuwafaidia kwa sababu hawakuchanganya na imani. In John chapter 1 verse verse 7. Mwanzo 1:7. The Bible says it when it comes to God he said let him ask of Let's say as in faith. Ah, um, Yohana 1:7 anasema yeye aje kwa Mungu akiaomba aombe kwa imani. Not wavering. Yakobo. Be pasipo kutia mashaka. He the wave is that the wave of a sea. Yeye sio asiwe anatikisika kama mawimbi ya bahari. James chapter 1 reading from verse 5 to 7. Yakobo 1:5 He started from verse 5 he said if any of you lack wisdom let him ask of God. Akaanza kwa kusema kama yote amepungukiwa na hekima na amombe Mungu yeye atoaye kwa ukarimu. That wisdom there can be replaced with anything. Hiyo hekima unaweza kuweka anything chochote. Anything you desire from God. Chochote unachotamani kutoka kwa Mungu. Anything you 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 want from God. Chochote unachotaka kutoka kwa Mungu. Verse 6 say 6 anasema But if he is as letting us in faith. Lakini kama wave. anaomba aombe kwa imani sio kwa ku kwa kuwa na mashaka. The wave is like the wave of the sea. Kwa kuwa yeye asitae ni kama mawimbi ya bahari. The wind to wind and toes kama mawimbi ya bahari and verse seven say let not that man think mstari wa 7 anasema mtu huyo kamwe asidhani that he shall receive anything from of god kwamba atapokea chochote kutoka kwa mungu anything of god is received by faith chochote kutoka kwa mungu unakipokea kwa imani be aware uwe makini na moyo mbovu wa kutokuamini unataka kuona nabii za mwaka 2017 na 2018 na 2018 zikitimia maisha yako uwe makini na moyo mbovu wa kutokuamini imani ni nguvu ya kiroho ambayo inawajibisha uadilifu wa Mungu ili aweze kutenda imani ni nguvu ya kiroho ambayo inamwajibisha Mungu atimize ahadi zake is your access to your inheritance in Christ. Imani ndio inayokuwezesha wewe kufikia kwenye urithi wako. Faith is what connects you to every prophecy you want to be fulfilled in your life. Imani ndio inayokuunganisha wewe na kila unabii unaotaka utokee maishani mwako. Understand that God has no problem confirming his word. Elewa kwamba Mungu hana tatizo kuthibitisha neno lake. Only looking for who will believe. Anachokitafuta nani anayamini. He's only looking for who will trust him. Anatafuta nani anayemtegemea. Jesus went to his own town. Yesu alienda katika mji wake. He marveled at their unbelief. Akashangaa kwa kutokuamini kwao. The Bible says he didn't do mighty works there. Biblia inasema hakufanya mambo makubwa kule. Because of their unbelief. Kwa sababu ya kutokuamini kwao. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kwanza hallelujah. Any prophetic word for any prophetic word to come to pass. Kwa kila neno la kinabii ili liweze kutimia. My responsibility and your responsibility is to believe it. Wajibu wangu na wajibu wako ni kuamini. And God's responsibility is to perform. Na wajibu wa Mungu ni kutenda. He is going to perform it is not my concern and your concern. Atatendaje sio swala lako na wala haikuhusu. In Luke chapter 1 verse 45. Luka 1:45. The Bible says blessed is she that believes. Biblia inasema anaheri yule aliyesadiki. And there shall be a performance kutakuwa na kutimilizwa believe, God does not perform. Mpaka Mungu mwanadamu aamini Mungu hawezi. You are not seeing the prophetic word for my case is even fulfilling your life is your unbelief. Sababu kwa nini hujaona swala langu tofauti likitimia maisha yako ni kwa sababu hujaamini. But if you can believe him today. Lakini kama tu ukiamini leo. One hour is enough for God to change your story. Saa moja linatosha kubadilisha hadithi yako. What God demands from you is your faith. Mungu anachotaka kwako ni imani yako. Don't look at how many days remaining. Usiangalie siku ngapi zimebaki. God say I am the god of all mankind is there anything too hard Mungu for me Mungu anasema mimi ni Mungu wa wote wenye mwili je kuna lolote gumu la kunishinda 
Remember Mark chapter 9 verse 27. Marko 9 23. All things are possible. Yote yanawezekana. To him that believeth. Kwake yeye aamini. All things are possible. Yote yanawezekana. To him that believeth. Kwake yeye aamini. In Mark chapter 10 verse 27. Marko 10 27. The Bible said to man it is not possible. Anasema kwa mwanadamu haiwezekani. But with God all things are possible. Lakini kwa Mungu yote yanawezekana. With God all things are possible. Kwa Mungu yote yanawezekana. What God want for you this morning? Mungu anachotaka kutoka kwako is your faith. There is no sickness God will not handle. There is no situation that will be an embarrassment to God. God is looking for those who believe. Those who trust on him. That scripture I read in Hebrew chapter 4 verse 2. He said everybody had the prophetic word. But many people went back and missed it with faith. And they got the prophet. Another people believe. Uh, they belong to doubting association of living faith. Wengine wao ni wako katika. You know there are doubting association of winners. Every word they doubt it. Kwa kila washindi kuna kusanyika ba wengine hawaamini. And they don't get anything. Na hawapati kitu. They are only winners by sticker. Wao ni washindi wa bibi. Because without faith in this you cannot get it. Kwa sababu pasi po imani katika hili wazi kupata. The name of this place is called Winners Chapel. Kanisa hili naitwa kanisa la washindi. And the original name is Living Faith Church worldwide. Lakini mwanzo au asili yake inaitwa Living Faith au imani iliyo hai. And we not also known as Winners Chapel. Pia inajulikana kama Winners Chapel. That name came because of the vision God gave to this church. Hilo jina lilikuja kutokana na maono ambayo Mungu alimpa mtumishi wake. That is years ago. Miaka 36 iliyopita. He met a brother. Alikutana kaka and gave him a vision. Akampa and he say the hour have come. Akukutana huyo askofu akampa maono akamwambia sasa imekuja. Like the word from all oppression of the devil. Ya kuukomboa ulimwengu kutoka katika maangamizo yote ya shetani. Through the preaching of the word of faith. Kupitia kulihubiri neno la imani. Let the word be preached and the people put their faith and they will be like God. Neno lihubiriwe watu waweke imani yao na watapata kile wanachokitaka. To be in this commission doubt and you cannot get anything. Kuwa katika huduma hii na una mashaka uwezi kupata kitu. Because our tool for liberation here is faith. Zana yetu ya ukombozi hapa ni imani. Our own materials for testimonies is faith. Maligafi yetu ya shuhuda ni imani. Everything about us here is faith. Kila unachokiona kwetu sisi hapa ni imani. I've heard our father said everything acquired in this commission is faith acquired. Nimesikia baba yetu wakisema kila unachokipata katika huduma hii ni kimepatika na kwa imani. Beware of evil heart of unbelief. Uwe mwangarifu na moyo mbogo kutu kwa mi. If you want to see prophecies with you. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. God is a performer. Why must you believe God? Because he's a performer. It's not something you say, if I believe it, will he do it? He has the capacity and capability to do it. Job 27 verse 14 says, that he's the one that performed all things for him. Anasema yeye ndio anayefanya kila kitu. Job 27 verse 14. Ah 23 14 Ayubu. Join me open it say for he performed the things that is appointed for me. Anasema many such things are with him. 23 anasema kwa kuwa yeye hutimiza hilo nililoliamuru tena mambo mengi kama hayo pamoja naye. Perform it. Yeye anatimiza. He's talking about God. Anamzungumzia mungu. And every prophetic word you believe, God has the power to perform it. Na kila neno la kinabii unaweliamini mungu na uwezo akutimiza. He's a performer. Dia na itenda. Believe him. Amen. And run away from unbelief and doubting. Na kimbi ambari na mashaka na koto kwa mimi. The worst thing that can happen to you here is to doubt God. Kitu kibaya zaidi kinachoweza kutokea ni kumtilia mashaka Mungu. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Somebody shout a bigger hallelujah. Bwana hallelujah. And not here having a bigger hallelujah. Sisi hallelujah. And we must also ensure that our faith does not fail or stagger. We must ensure that our faith does not fail or stagger. Pia lazima tuhakikishe kwamba imani zetu hazishindwi wala kutikisika au kutindika. On the prophetic word sent to us. Kwa neno la kinabii lililotumwa kwetu. We must make sure that we believe to the end. Tuhakikishe tunaamini mpaka mwisho. Abraham got the prophetic word fulfilled in his life. Abraham alipata neno la kinabii likitimia maisha ni mwake. Because he believed to the end. Kwa sababu aliamini mpaka mwisho. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 
Romans chapter 4 verse 17 to 20. Warumi 3, the Bible says he staggered not at the promise of God. Biblia inasema hakusita katika hadi za Mungu kwa kutokuwa mimi. Kwa kutokuwa mimi. But was strong in faith. Bali alikuwa hodari katika imani. Giving glory to God. Akimpa Mungu utukufu. Most of the times as we expect it it does not come that way. Mara nyingi vile tunavyotarajia huwa haiji hivyo. But not that in this kingdom delay is not equal to denial. Lakini lazima utambue katika ufalme huu kuchelewa haimaanishi umekanwa. Even testimony is delayed is not denied. Hata kama huo ushuhuda umechelewa lakini bado hujanyimwa. Don't give up. Usikate tamaa. The Bible say if you draw back my soul shall not have pleasure in you. Hebrew chapter 10 verse 37. Hebrew chapter 10 verse 37. The Bible said in Hebrew chapter 10 verse 37 to 39. Look at the screen. The Bible says for yet a little while. Somebody say a little while. He that shall come will come. We don't a little while, that prophetic word will be fulfilled in your life. Because it has been ordained that this year you will get it. A little while, he that will come, he will come. But in verse 38, now, the just shall live by his faith. By faith. Lakini mwenye haki wangu ataishi kwa imani. But if any man draw back. Lakini nae akisita sita. If any man stagger. Mtu akiwa na mashaka. If any man give up. Mtu akikata tamaa. Many people are already giving up complaining and murmuring against God. Wengi tayari wamekata tamaa wanalamika wananumunika. Many people are already saying next year. Wengi wameshaanza kusema mwakani, mwakani. He said, if any man draw back, my soul have no pleasure in you. Anasema huyo mtu akisita sita, akirudi nyuma, nafsi yangu haita kuwa nafura na. Don't draw back, don't stagger. Usinungunike, usisitisite. Believe to the end. Amini mpaka mwisho. Because the Bible say, at the end it shall speak. Bibia nasema mwisho ni itanena. Habaku chapter 2 verse 1 to 4. Habaku kimbiri, moja ne. Write a vision and make it pen. That he that we did may run with it. Anasema andika maono ya andike wazi ili asomaya asome kama nae kimbia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From verse 2 to 4. Sali wapini baka wane. But they say for the vision is for an appointed time. Anasema kwa maana maono ni kwa wajile wakati wake. The vision is for an appointed time. Hayo maono ya mekusudio kwa wajile wakati wake. Though it tarries, wait for it. Hatakama ya kikawia. Though that prophetic word tarries, wait for it. Ingawa hilo neno la kinabili na kawia. Ngoja. Though that prophetic word tarries, wait for it. Ingawa hilo neno la kinabili na kawia. Ngoja. It shall come, it will not tarry. Litatimia, halitachelewa. And it ended in verse 4. Behold, the soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. But the jaw shall live by his faith. The jaw shall live by his faith. It is important to see prophecy fulfilled in our life. In our quest to harvest all our testimony this year, people of God, let's be aware of evil heart of unbelief. Somebody shout hallelujah. That's spirit of doubt in your life today, it is cause. Whatever that makes you not to believe God today, it is over. Somebody shout a louder amen. I tell you this, God has never fell and he will never fell. If he has said that he will do it, he will do it. Kama amesema atafanya, atafanya. It is not over until it is over. Haitaisha mpaka ya kuwa kolitimie. Don't draw back. Usirudi nyuma. Wait, your miracle is coming. Ngoja, moji za wako nakuja. It's closer than you think. Umekaribia sana kuliko unavofikiri. And I believe God you are going back from this service today with your own testimony. Nani naamini unarudi kutoka katika ibada hii ukiwa na ushuda wako. Somebody believe it, shout it louder. We unayamini pazame. Number two, Mbili. beware of the scourge of hopelessness. Uwe makini na ile hali ya kukosa tumaini. Be, beware of hopelessness. Uwe makini na kukosa tumaini ya kufunjika moyo. To see prophecies fulfilled, we must overcome the, this scourge called hopelessness. 
kutaka kuona nabii zikitimia lazima tuwe makini na hili tendo la kukosa tumaini au kuvunjika moyo hopelessness is an emotion kuvunjika moyo ni hisia which is characterized by lack of hope ambazo and passion tabia zake unakosa una huna tumaini huna msukumo when a someone is hopeless mtu anapokuwa hana tumaini he has no expectation that it will happen hana matarajio kwamba itatimia Praise the Lord. When someone is hopeless, mtu anapokosa tumaini, he have no expectation that he will be well from that sickness or disease. Hana tumaini tena kwamba atapona au atatoka kwenye huo ugonjwa. And what about hope? Na kitu kimoja kusema kukosa tumaini. Until hope is in place, you cannot have faith. Tumaini lako lisipokuwa mahali pake huwezi kuwa na imani. When I, we talk about hope, tunapozungumzia tumaini we are talking about the womb that carries faith. Tunazungumzia tumbo linalobeba imani. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 says. Hebrews 11:1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Basi imani ni kuwa na hakika ya mambo yatarajiwa. And the evidence of things not seen. Ni bayana ya mambo yasionekana. In our quest to see prophecies fulfilled. Katika kiu yetu ya kutaka kuona nabii zikitimia. Hope is important. Tumaini ni muhimu. When we are hopeless we are helpless. Tunapokuwa hatuna tumaini tunakuwa hatuna msaada. When we are msaada. hopeless we have given up that it will not happen. Unapokuwa huna tumaini umekata tamaa kwamba hayawezi kutokea. When we talk about hope tunapozungumzia tumaini we are talking about expectation. Tunazungumzia matarajio. We are talking about desire tunazungumzia matamanio see prophecies fulfilled in your life kwamba kutaka kuona nabii zikitimia maisha yako you must expect it lazima utarajie every day you woke up you expect new dawn kila siku unaamka unatarajia pambazo kujipia every day between now and the end of you expect that my case is different prophecy will be fulfilled kila siku kuanzia leo unaamka asubuhi unasema tamanio langu la fungu langu la kula what you don't expect you will never experience kile usitokitarajia huwezi kukipata many people have gotten so i say i expected it wengi wameshakata tamaa nasema nilitarajia hope attracts things tumaini linavutia vitu au mambo if you are hopeful you will not be discouraged in life huna tumaini huwezi kuvunjika moyo praise the lord i say praise the lord kama ukiona tumaini huwezi kuvunjika moyo is a process of anticipation Tumaini ni ule mchakato wa kutarajia. Most of the time people say I'm hopeful it will happen. Wengi mara nyingi wanasema natamani natarajia itatokea au itakuwa. When you are hopeful that it will happen it will happen. Unapokuwa umejaa tumaini kwamba kitatokea kitatokea. But when you are hopeless. Lakini unapokosa tumaini. You have given up and you have said it will not happen. Umekata tamaa, ushaitimisha kwamba haiwezi kuwa tena. People of God to be hopeful is to be expectant. Watu wa Mungu kuwa na kuwa na tumaini ni kuwa na matarajio. Wake up every day expecting miracle in your life. Amka kila siku asubuhi tarajia muujiza maisha yako. Expecting call of favor in your life. Tarajia Mungu akibali maisha yako. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. I found out that the greatest power on earth is the power of expectation. Nimegundua nguvu kuu maishani ni nguvu ya matarajio. That's why your life is limited by your level of expectation. Ndio maana maisha yako mipaka yake ni kile kiwango chako cha matarajio. Your expectation is that spiritual dark room where your challenges are processed into testimonies. Matarajio yako changamoto inakuja pale ambapo changamoto zinakuja kupinga ushuhuda wako. Hope makes you to see tomorrow from today. Tumaini linakufanya ingawa uko leo uione kesho yako. God's servant will always tell us. Siku zote mtumishi wa Mungu anatuambia. I thank God for where we are today. Anasema namshukuru Mungu kwa hapa tulipo leo. But I saw it yesterday. Lakini niliona miaka mingi iliyopita. I would have been surprised if we are not where we are today. Anasema ningeshangaa sana kama tusingekuwa hapa tulipo leo. Despite the mockery. Bila kujali kudhihakiwa. There was a time it looks as if we this thing work. Kuna wakati ilionekana kana kwamba je, hiki kitu kitafanya kazi kweli? He was hopeful. Lakini alikuwa na matarajio. He was expecting. Alikuwa anatarajia. A worldwide commission. Huduma ya dunia nzima. 
Today it is a reality. Leo ni halisi. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. I say praise the Lord. Nasema Bwana asifiwe. Beware of hopelessness. Uwe makini na kukata tamaa au kuvunjika moyo wa kukosa tumaini. Beware of hopelessness. Uwe makini sana na kukosa tumaini. What you don't expect you will never experience. Usichokitarajia huwezi kukipata. What kept Job going was his hope. Kilichomfanya Ayub aendelee kwenda ilikuwa ni tumaini. In Job chapter 14 verse 7. Ayubu 14:7 Job said there is a hope of a tree even though it is cut down. Akasema kuna tumaini kwa mti ingawa umekatwa. Job chapter 14 verse 7. Ayubu 14:7 There is a hope of a tree. Liko tumaini kwa mti uliokatwa. That if it cut down that it will spring again. Kwamba hata kama ukikatwa utachipuka tena. That the tender branch thereof will not cease. Wala machipukizi yake hayatakoma. Verse 8. Salwa 8. Though the root thereof was cold in the earth. Ijapo kuwa mizizi yake uchaka mchangani. And the stalk thereof die in the ground. Na shina lake kufa katika udongo. Yet, through the scent of water it will burn. Lakini kwa harufu ya maji utachipuka. And bring forth bored like a plant. Na kutoa matawi kama mche. And in verse 27. Ishina tatu. Mstalo ya shina tatu. In verse 14. In verse 14 of that scripture. Mstalo ya kumina ane katika antiko ilo. He say if a man die. Anasema mtu wa kifa. Shall he live again? Yeah, All tena. the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. Job was hopeful that he will not die because of that image. Ayubu alikuwa bado na matumaini kwamba hata kufa kwa sababu ya hiyo changamoto. Hope is what keep our faith going. Ima, tumaini ndio inayofanya imani yetu endelee kuenda. Look at the relationship between faith and, and, and hope. Angalia mahusiano kati ya imani na tumaini. Faith say God will do it now. Imani inasema Mungu atafanya sasa. I hope say if God did not do it now it will do it tomorrow. Tumaini inasema hata kama asipofanya sasa atafanya kesho. If you did, faith didn't get it faith follows faith follows hope going front and front. Kama imani isipopata imani inafuata tumaini inafuata ule upande wa tumaini. When someone is hopeless depression will come. Mtu anapokuwa hana tumaini kuvunjika moyo mgandamizo na kudi. Many people that commit suicide today because they are hopeless. Wengi wanaojinyonga leo kwa sababu wamekosa tumaini, wamekufa moyo. They can't see their tomorrow from today. Hawaioni kesho ingawa wako leo. They don't see the change. Hawaoni badiliko. That coming on their way. Linalokuja kwao. Please beware of hopelessness. Tafadhali kuwa makini sana na kukosa tumaini. God do not do it today, he will do it tomorrow. Kama Mungu asipofanya leo atafanya kesho. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kaza hallelujah. All I know and I want to announce to you you will not carry any of your desires. Carry you won't carry them over to 2018. Ninachokijua hiki na ninachotaka kutangazia ni kwamba matarajio yako yote ulionayo hautaingia nayo 2018. Yoto Somebody shout hallelujah. Paza hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Paza hallelujah. And finally, Mwisho. beware of the misuse of your tongue. Uwe makini na matumizi mabaya ya ulimi wako. Beware of the misuse of tongue. Uwe makini na matumizi mabaya ya ulimi wako. This is another force that we must stand against. In, in our quest to see prophecy within our life. nguvu nyingine ambayo lazima tuwe makini sana katika kutaka kuona nabii zikitimia maisha yetu. Most of us say amen to prophetic word. Wengi wetu tunasema amina kwa matamshi ya kinabii. But we cancel it by what we utter from our mouth. Lakini tunayafuta kwa kile tunachosema kwa maneno yetu. Our mouth was created God created our mouth also to use it to be great. Mungu aliumba midomo yetu kwa ajili ya kutumika kuumba. You can regret your word by your mouth. Unaweza kuumba ulimwengu wako kwa kinywa chako. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 6. Join me Mubili, open it. 2:5:6 fungua pamoja nami. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 6. 2:5:6 The Bible says, says suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin. Neither say thou before the angel that it was an error. Wherefore God wherefore God should be angry at thy voice and destroy the work of thy hands. Usikiache kinywa chako kuhukosesha mwili wako wala usiseme mbele ya huyo malaika ya kwamba umepitiliwa. Kwani Mungu kwani Mungu akukasirikie sauti yako na kuiharibu kazi ya mikono yako? See this 
tongue is little but very powerful. In James chapter 3 verse 5. Yakobo tatu tano. The Bible is talking about that. He said, how great a matter a little fire can do from this tongue. He said, even so, the tongue is a little member. It's a little member. And boasted great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindled. Vivyo hivyo ulimi nao ni kiungo kidogo. Nao hujivuna majivuno maku. Angalia jinsi moto mdogo wa shavyo msitu mkubwa sana. Na uo ulimi ni moto ule ulimwengu wa uovu. Ule ulimi umeweka katika viungo vietu. Nao ndio utiao mwili wote. Unajis na kuwasha moto mfulizo wa maumbi. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. Very little but very powerful. Kiungo kidogo sana. Lakini Many kinangubu ya jia. Many people have destroyed the prophetic word in their life because of what they say. Watu wengi wameharibu maneno ya kinabi kwa kutoka na yele wana yasema. We cancel prophecies by the word that comes out of our mouth. Unafuta unabi kwa maneno ya na toka kinyoni mwako. Whether we say it in the secret or in the open. Useme sirini au hadharani. God servant said one day, he said, God does not know what is joke. Don't say you are joking. Many people Ajui. say they say I'm, I'm just joking. Mwingine anasema natania tu nilikuwa natania. God does not know what is joke. Mungu hajui kitu kinachoitwa utani. Because out of abundance of the heart the man speaks. Kwa sababu kutokana na kile kilichomjaza mtu moyoni ndicho huyo mtu anaongea. Stop canceling the fulfillment of the prophetic word in your life. Acha kuyafuta maneno ya kinabii maishani mwako kwa mdomo wako. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. That's what, what am I saying? Your confession influences your life. Nacho sema ni nini? Kile unachokili, lazima kiendani na maisha yako. What you say, unacho sema, influences where you stay. Kita shawish au kita perekea wapi utakuwa. What you say, unacho kisema, determines what you get. Kita amua utapata nini. Most times, most times, mana nyingi, it is we that is a problem. Ni sisi ndiyo tatizo. Not the devil. Sio shetani. Because Kwa the mouth is so powerful. Kwa sababu ulimi una God created sana. the whole world with his words. Mungu aliumba dunia yote kwa maneno ya kinywa chake. And in Mark chapter 11 verse 27. Mako 11 verse 23. The Bible say if we, you can say to this mountain. Anasema kama ukiwaambia mlima huu. If what you say can remove mountain. Kama unachoweza kusema kinaweza kuongoa mlima. What you say can cancel prophecies. Unachoweza kusema kinaweza kufuta unabii kabisa. Whether it's in the secret or in the open. Iwe ni sirini au ni hadharani. Discipline your tongue. Uwe na adabu na ulimi wako. Somebody shout hallelujah. Paza hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Paza hallelujah. Please, people of God understand this that fulfillment of prophecy is activated by prophecy. Tafadhali but watu, it is activated by confession. Tafadhali watu wa Mungu tuelewe kwamba utimilifu wa nabii unachochewa na matamshi unayotamka. The, the reason for my case is different so is my because I'm a redeemer of the Lord and as a covenant child what affect others is not permitted to affect me. Sababu the, the reason for it is not just for greeting it is powerful to to see it happen in our life. Sababu kwa nitu kwa nasema swa langu ni tofauti na la kwangu pia kwa sababu ni mekomboleo na buwana na ni mtoto wa kiagano kinacho wa dhulu wengine hakilusiku ni dhulu mimi. Haya kuwa matamshi tu ya salamu ilikuwa ni matamshi ya nyenguvu ya kufanya haya toke maisha ni mwetu. Somebody shout hallelujah. Maza hallelujah. Please. Tafadhali. Don't say it does not matter. Usiseme haina maana. Those things we say it does not matter in the kingdom. Usiseme haya tunayosema hayana maana katika ufalme. It matters a lot. Yana maana kubwa sana. They are matters arising. Kuna vitu vinainuka au mambo. Matter what you say matters a lot. Kile unachosema ni cha muhimu sana. You want to see good. Unataka kuona mema? Say it. Sema mema. Psalm 34 verse 12. Zaburi 34 12 12 and 13. 12 na 13. Who is that man that loved good? Old good days. Ni nani huyo apendaye kuona siku nyingi? What man is he that desire life? Ni nani huyo apenaitaka kuona uhai ya uzima? Many days. Na apendaye kuona siku nyingi? That he may see good. Ili aweze kuona mema. You want mema. to see the good this year? Unataka kuona mema mwaka huu? Remember that God crowned the year with his goodness and his path drop fatness. Kumbuka Mungu anaovika mwaka na wema wake na anajaza zake za dondoza unaona. Keep thy tongue from evil. And thy lip for speaking God. 
na midomo yako kusema hila speaking nonsense kusema mambo ya kijinga speaking things that does not edify kusema mambo ambayo hayajengi speaking things that are not scriptural kusema mambo ambayo sio ya kiroho you are only permitted to say what god say not what the god says unaruhusiwa kusema yale ambayo Mungu amesema na sio yale ambayo Mungu hajasema many people have hindered themselves from getting a job wengi wamejizuia wenyewe kupata kazi because their confession every time is there is no job kwa sababu makiri yao siku zote anasema hakuna kazi you call them on the phone there is no job there is no job. Kila mara anakuambia hakuna kazi. Even when they are praying to God. Hata wanapoomba kwa Mungu. They say God you see there is no job in this country. Anakuambia Mungu unajua katika nchi hakuna kazi hakuna job. Because they have said it. Mungu anasema kama ulivyosema. So shall it be. Ndivyo itakavyokuwa. In number chapter 14. Hesabu 14. Verse 28. Number chapter 14 verse 28. 14 28 hesabu. Please help me with that scripture. Number chapter 14 verse 28. Hesabu 14 28. Look at verse 24. The Bible says in that scripture, if an, as truly as I live, says the Lord, as I have heard you say, so will I do. Praise the Lord. Verse 28. Verse, Numbers 14:28. Unto them. That's what God said. Wambie. As truly as I live says the Lord. Kama nishivyo sema Bwana. As you have spoken in my ears. Hakika yangu kama mlivyonena masikioni mwangu. So will I do to you. Ndivyo nitakavyowafanyia ninyi. Remember it was those that went and spied the land. Ilikuwa ni wale walioenda kuipeleleza ile nchi. Caleb and with uh, Joshua. Wakiwa na Joshua na Caleb. And they came and say we are not well able we are just like grasshoppers. Wakarudi wakasema hatuwezi sisi ni kama panzi. And God heard it. Mungu akasikia. Say as you people have said that you are like grasshoppers. Akasema kama mlivyosema nyinyi ni kama panzi. And that's the way you that's what you are. Na hivyo ndivyo mlivyo. When you are telling God there is no job. Unapomwambia Mungu hakuna kazi. There is no food. Hakuna chakula. There is no money. Hakuna pesa. You will be lacking those things. Utakuwa unavikosa hivyo vitu. But Joel chapter 3 verse 10 says. Lakini Yoeli 3:13 Let the weak say I am strong. 3:10 anasema aliye dhaifu na aseme nina nguvu. Don't say what is happening say what is written. Usiseme kile kinachokutokea sema kilichoandikwa. What is happening is temporary but what is written is permanent. Kwa sababu kile kinachotokea ni cha muda lakini kilichoandikwa ni cha milele. Let me tell somebody this. Bali kwambie mtu fulani hiki. If your challenges will not stop your confession. Kama changamoto yako haiwezi kukuzuia wewe kukiri. Your positive confession will change your problem. Maneno yako chanya yatabadilisha hiyo hali unayopitia. Confess positively. Sema maneno mazuri. Even in the midst of death, say there is life. Hata kama uko katikati ya kifo, sema kuna kuishi. Proverbs 18:21 say, Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Uzima na mauti viko katika nguvu ya ulimi. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Uzima na mauti viko katika nguvu ya ulimi. Something happened in second King chapter 4 verse 25 and 26. Kuna kitu kilitokea katika falme ya pili. A woman cautioned a mighty woman wila mwanamke alikuwa anaitwa mshunami you know she, she got a child at her old age alipata mtoto akiwa katika umri mkubwa to the prophet elisha kupitia nabii elisha and one day the child died siku moja mtoto akafa and the, the woman ran to the prophet yule mwanamke akamkimbilia nabii and when the prophet saw her from far nabii alipomuona kwa mbali he sent the servant say go and meet the woman akamtuma mtumishi wake akamwambia nenda kampokee yule mama and the as a woman akamuuliza yule mama is anything well je yote ni heri because most time as winners when we are saying it is well people don't understand where it coming from mara nyingi washindi tunaposema ni heri mambo yote ni salama hawa tuelewi look at that scripture second king chapter 4 verse 25 and 26 pili 4:24 there was a dead child kulikuwa na mtoto aliyekufa the woman couldn't pronounce that the child is dead lakini yule mama hakutamka kwamba mtoto amekufa so she went and came to the man of god to man camel and it came to pass when the man of god saw her afar off that he said to Gehazi his servant behold Yonder this that's, this is that Sunamite woman. I'm reading verse 26. 2 Kings chapter 4 verse 25. 2 Kings chapter 4 verse. Basi akaenda akafika kwa yule mtu wa Mungu katika mlima Kamel. 
ikawa ile mtu alipomuona kwa mbali akamwambia Gehazi mtumishi wake tazama mshunami yule kule tafadhali piga mbio sasa kwenda kumlaki ukamwambie hujambo mumeo hajambo mtoto hajambo akajibu hawajambo verse 26 sasa verse 26 look at verse 26 26 when Gehazi went to meet the woman to meet the woman he said he said to her is it where we did is it where with thy husband is it well with the child? What did the woman answer? The woman answered and said, It is well. Tell your neighbor, It is well. <laughs> There was a dead child, but the woman couldn't say, My child is dead. The woman said, It is well. Look at verse 32 to tell you that. The child was dead. Verse 32 of that scripture. Elisha now followed her and come to the house. Behold, the child was dead. Laid, he laid upon his bed. The child was dead. Basi Elisha lipo kuisha kufika nyumbani, tazama mtoto ame kuisha kufa, ame lazwa kitandani pake. When we are saying it is well, we know what we are doing. Tunapo sema ni salama, tunajua tunachomanisha. It is well, even in the well. Hata katika kisima, bado ni salama. In every challenge you are facing, it is well. Hata katika changamoto na wepitia, bado ni salama. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kaza hallelujah. And you know the end of the story, the, the Elijah woke that child up. Na unajua mwisho yu adithi, Elisha animuamisha yu mtoto. Because the woman couldn't kill her child with her mouth. Kwa sababu hile mama hakumuwa yule mtoto kwa mdomo wake. Maybe had even the woman said to Elisha, my child is dead. Maybe it could have been difficult. Labda yule mama angejibu kwa mba mwanangu wa mekufa, inge kuwa ngumu kwa Elisha. The woman say it is well. Yule mama akasema, hawajambo. It was well. Na kwa kika, ili kwa salama. I tell somebody today, it is well with you. Somebody shout it up to you, man. It does not matter what is happening, it is well with you. Tell yourself, it is well with me. Diambie kwa ngu ni salama. In Isaiah chapter 3, verse 10. Isaiah tatu kumi. The Bible says I should tell you. Biblia na sema ni kuambi. Tell the righteous. Ana sema wambi e wenye haki. It shall be well with him. Ita kuaheri kwa. And he shall eat the fruit of his doing. Na watakula matunda ya matunda. Isaiah should tell you this morning. It shall be well with you. Ana sema ni kuambi e ita kuaheri kwa ko. This year and beyond, it shall be well with you. Wakahu na kuendelea ita kuaheri kwa ko. Beware of using your mouth. Uwe makini sana na unavetumia mdomo wako. Most of us have destroyed our destiny by what we say. Wengi wetu tumearibu hatima zetu kwa yale tunayasema. Please watch what you say. Tafadhali kuwa makini sana na unachosema. Remember that that day of judgment we will account for every word we say. Kumbuka ile siku ya hukumu utaukumiwa utatoe sabu kwa kila unachosema. Matthew chapter, and I end with that scripture, Matthew chapter, Matthew kumina mbili shina sate shina saba. Many people when they are provoked, they say anything they like. Watu wengi wanapokuwa mekasilika, anasema tu chochote. Hear this. Sikia. You can pray for five hours. Unaweza ukaomba kwa... A comment that comes out of your mouth can destroy your prayers. Unaweza kuomba kwa masama tano. Your level in prayer can be fruitless by what you have said. Neno moja tu litafuta kila ulichoomba. People of God, discipline what you say. Watu wa mungu tuwe makina tunacho sema. Matthew, look at that word. I end with that scripture. Angalia kitabu cha Mathayo. Matthew chapter 12 verse 36. Kuminambili 36. Jesus was the one speaking. Yes, ndole kwa nasema. He said, I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Basi na wambia, kila neno risilo maana, wataka walinena wanadamu, watatua hesabu ya neno hilo, siku ya ukumu. Verse 37. Sena saba. By your words. Kwa kuwa, kwa maneno yako. You shall be justified. Uta esabi wa haki. And by your words. Na kwa maneno yako. You shall be condemned. Uta ukumiwa. Hear this. Sikia. Anytime you say something. Kila unaposema kitu. Angel pick it. Malaika anachukua. And God fix it. Na mungu anathibitisha. Whether it's negative or positive. Iliwe baya au jema. If I were you. Ninge kuwa wewe. I will start here making, I will start now making positive confession. Nika anza kusema maneno mazuri. Start announcing your testimony. Anza kutangaza ushuda wako. Most times the devil will tell you. Mala nyingi shetana na kuambia. What if I say it, it does not happen. Vipi kama nikisema na isitokea. Tell the devil. Mwambia shetani. What if I say it and it happen. Vipi kama nikisema na ikatokea. Your responsibility is to say it. 
Wajibu wako ni kusema. God responsibility is do it. Wajibu wa Mungu ni kufanya. But a man say it. Mwanadamu asiposema. Angel will not pick it. Malaika hawezi kuchukua. And God will not fix it. Na Mungu hawezi kutenda. Rise up on your feet. Simama. Rise up on your feet. Simama. And wave those hands and give him all the glory. Unga mikono yako kwa Bwana. Give him all the glory. Give him all the glory. Mungu Give him all the glory. Give him all the glory. Heshima. Oh, le abaka chande le abali abasholi bala 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 ba. Oh, ya la kata shi ya kata le abashu anda le abala ba. Oh, ya le abaka tu shi kala bala bala ba. Asking to help you. Asking to help you. To Mombe deal with these forces that are standing against Mombe fulfillment of prophecy, the evil heart of unbelief, the scourge of hopelessness, the use of your tongue, ask for his help, ask for his Mombe help. Mungu that prophetic word must be fulfilled in your life. That prophetic word must be fulfilled in your life. That prophetic word must be fulfilled in your life. Aliandelia ba 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 ba. Le ba ba shule ba la ba. Oh she akaliandela ba la ba. Thank you Jesus. Sante Baba. In the name of Jesus Christ. Katika jina kula Yesu Kristo. Somebody shout a louder Amen. Paza Amen. May I request you 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 sit down. Namba ukai. Namba ukai. And join me open to First Corinthians chapter eleven. Fungu apa moja na mwa Corinthians wa kwanza kumi na moja. From verse twenty seven. Kwanza msalwe shina tatu. First Corinthians chapter eleven verse twenty seven. Wakolinto wa kwanza kumi na moja shina tatu. I want to read it as we prepare to partake of the communion. Nataka ni some wakati tunajanda kushiriki mezani. Remember, it's our our month of godliness. Kumbuka ni mazoe tu utau. And godliness is profitable unto all things. Na utau wafa katika mamboyote. Including the communion. Pamoja na meza ya Bwana. Without godliness the communion will not profit you. Pasipo utakatifu meza ya Bwana haiwezi kukufaidia kitu. Corinthians chapter 11 verse 23. Wa Korintho kwanza 11 23. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you. That the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. Read verse 23. Kwa maana mimi nalipokea kwa Bwana nilivyowapa nanyi ya kuwa Bwana Yesu usiku ule aliotolewa akitoa alitoa mkate. And when he have given thanks he broke it and said take it this is my body which is broken for you do this in remembrance of me. Naye akisha kushukuru aka Omega akasema huu ndio mwili wangu ulio ulio kwa ajili yenu fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu verse 25 25 and after the same manner he took the cup when he had served saying this cup is a new testament in my blood this do ye as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me na vivi hivi baada ya kula akakitoa kikombe akisema kikombe hiki ni agano jipya katika damu yangu fanyeni hivi kila mnywapo kwa ukumbusho wangu for as oft as you eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Mana kila mula po mkate huu na kukinyo ya kikombe hiki, maitangaza mauti ya buwana hata ajapo. Verse 27. Ishina saba. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord, onwardly shall be guilty of the blood body and the blood of the Lord. Basi kila aulae mkate huo au kukinyoe kikombe hicho cha Bwana isivyo stahili atakuwa amejipatia hatia ya mwili na damu ya Bwana. Whosoever that will partake of this communion onwardly. Aye yote atakayeshiriki meza hii isivyo stahili. Many people misinterpret that scripture. Wengi wetu wao tunaelewa vibaya ndiko hili. Say, uh, uh, see it as before you partake of the communion you remove your shoe and your and you walk like someone like this. To go and partake the communion. That is wanaf... not it. Wengi wanafikiri kwamba kabla ujashiriki meza ya Bwana, vua viatu, alafu utembee taratibu, kitaratibu ndio uende kushiriki. Many people understood it as going for class for five maybe five weeks before partaking of the communion. Wengine wanafahamu kwamba labda uende ukasomee darasani kama wiki tano hivi ndio uje ushiriki meza ya Bwana. But by the interpretation of the Holy Ghost. Lakini kwa tafsiri ya Roho Mtakatifu. Yeye ambaye ndiye mwandishi. Partaking of the communion on worldly means partaking it in sin. 
Kushiriki isivyo stahili ni kushiriki katika dhambi. Ni kushiriki ukiwa na maisha ya dhambi na uovu. Inakufanya kuwa na hatia ya mwili na damu ya Bwana Yesu. And that is why verse 28. Look at verse 28. Ndio maana mtume wa 28 anasema. He said, "But let a man examine himself." Lakini mtu na ajihoji mwenyewe. After you have examined yourself. Baada ya kujihoji mwenyewe. Are you in Christ? Yeah, are you born again? Christo, are you living a righteous life? Unaishi maisha haki. Examine yourself. Unajidhamini mwenyewe, unajihoji mwenyewe. So mwenye. let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Baada ya kufanya hivyo, kula mwili wa Yesu na kunywa damu. There is danger partaking of the communion in sin. Kuna hatari kushiriki mwili na damu katika dhambi. Verse 29. Sala 29. He that eated and drinked on one leg. Maana aulae na kunywa isivyo stahili. He eated and drinked damnation to himself not respecting the lost body king james said not discerning the lost body anasema maana aulae na kunywa kula na kunywa kwa hukumu ya nafsi yake na kutoupambanua ule mwili when you are partaking it with sin you are disrespecting the lost body and the blood unaposhiriki ukiwa na dhambi ina maana yake hauheshimu mwili na damu yako 30 the bible says for this cause sema kwa sababu hiyo many are weak watu wengi waliokwenda Communion is meant to give you strength. Meza bwana anapaswa kupatia nguvu. Many are sickly among you. Wengi ni wagonjwa hawawezi dhaifu. And many are asleep, many die. Wengi wanakufa. No respecting the body. Kwa kuto kuheshimu huu mwili. And I will end in verse 31. Nitaishia mstari wa 31. He said if we will judge ourselves. Lakini kama tungejipambanua nafsi zetu. We should not be judged. Tusinge hukumiwa. You have been partaking of the communion since the year began. Tangu mwaka ulipoanza umekuwa ukishiriki meza ya Bwana. This, this is this is a different one. Lakini hii ni tofauti. That can give you or prepare you for the prepared blessings. Inaweza kukuandaa kwa ajili ya baraka zilizoandaliwa. Don't partake it on one leg. Usishiriki sivyo stahili. I am not saying this to condemn anyone. Sisemi hili kwa kumhukumu yeyote. But the Holy Spirit is saying you can make peace with him now. Lakini Roho Mtakatifu anasema unaweza kutengeneza mambo. that you can be worldly now to partake it. Habari njema ni kwamba unaweza ukastahilishwa. By first of all, his blood to wash you. Kwanza kabisa kwa kumwomba Mungu akuoshe. Until the blood wash you, the blood in communion does not profit you. Bwana asipokuosha ile damu hii katika meza ya Bwana haiwezi kukuosha. Rise up with me. Simama pamoja nami. Someone is here this morning. Uko hapa asubuhi leo. Before we partake of this communion. Kabla tujashiriki meza hii ya Bwana. You are here. You want this this communion is for your healing. Hii meza ya Bwana kwa ajili ya uponyaji wako. It's for your deliverance. Ni kwa ajili ya ukombozi. This communion will destroy every form of unbelief. Hii meza ya Bwana itaharibu kila kuto kuamini. That evil heart of unbelief. Huo moyo wa kuto kuamini. Every form of hopelessness depression will destroy. Kila kukosa tumaini kuvunjika moyo. This communion will make you to say the things that are required. He meza bwana itakusaidia kusema unayopaswa kuyasema. It will help you to triumphantly enter 2018. Itakusaidia kwa ushindi kabisa kuingia mwaka 2018. Take a step of faith this morning. Na sasa unaweza kuchukua hatua imani. Allow his blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. Ruhusu damu yake iliyomwagika katika Calvary ikuoshe kwa. It doesn't matter how the sin is. Haijalishi dhambi ikoje. Jesus loves you. Yesu anakupenda. He loves you. Anakupenda. God loves you. Mungu anakupenda. The Bible says for God so love you and I. Biblia inasema Mungu alitupenda sana mimi na wewe. He gave his only begotten son. Akamtoa mwanae wa pekee. He sent his son for his for the love he has for you and I. Alimtuma mwanae kwa upendo aliokuwa nao kwa ajili yako na yangu. We need to pay him back. Lazima tumlipe. We need to reciprocate. Lazima tufanye vivyo kama alivyofanya yeye. Someone is here this morning. Uko hapa asubuhi ya leo. I just want to pray for you. Nataka nikuombe wewe ambaye hujaokoka. You have not been born again. Hujaokoka. I want to pray for you. Nataka nikuombe. Oh you have been born again but you have missed it. Au uliokoka ukarudi nyuma. You have been you are backslidden. Ukarudi nyuma. You want to come back to Jesus. Lakini unataka kurudi tena kwa Yesu. I want also to pray for you. Pia nataka nikuombe na wewe. This two set of people wherever you are. Wewe niliyeita watu hao aina hizo mbili uko wapi? Put your hand on your chest. Wewe unayetaka kuokoka na wewe unataka kuweka wakfu. Weka mkono wako akulia kifua. This two set of people wherever you are. Help me put your hand on your chest. Wewe unayetaka kuokoka uliokoka ukarudi nyuma weka mkono wako kifua. Yesu anataka kupe maisha mapya. Please if you have done that please come forward here let na me kama umefanya hivyo njoo mbele bila kuchelewa wala kuona aibu njoo mbele njoo mbele can you come forward let me pray for you god come god come 
Sister, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Mungu akubariki sana. People of God, if you are clapping, popote ulipo, clap louder and they will come faster. Watu wa Mungu makofi. Clap louder and they will come faster. Come forward, come forward, come forward, come forward. Come forward, let me pray for you. Come forward, come forward, come forward. God bless you, God. God bless you, sister. Wherever you are, come forward, come forward, let me pray for you. Come forward, come forward. Jesus is calling you this hour. You want to be dedicated your life to Jesus. Come forward. You want to be dedicated your life to Jesus. Please come forward. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Just take a step of faith and join this wonderful people on the front. Take a step of faith and join them. We are waiting for you. God bless you, brother. God bless you. Holy Spirit is telling us to people. Please come forward. Come forward and receive Jesus. God bless you. God bless you, sister. God bless you, brother. Come forward. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Yes, on a quitter. My God, my man. Yes, on a quitter. And I won't turn back because I want to see my Jesus. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. And that's what is going on. Come forward. We are still waiting for you. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Come and accept him. Come and we dedicate your life to him. Pray this prayer of faith after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you this morning just as I am. Forgive me my sin. Wash me by your blood. Today, I receive you as my Lord and personal Savior. Come and take your place in my life. Today, I declare that I am now born again in Jesus' name. Father, thank you for these souls you saved. I cover every one of them with the blood of Jesus. A new beginning today. I welcome them into the household of God. Between now and the end of the year, visit them, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Congratulations. Hallelujah. Please follow. If you are clapping and you know it's for Jesus, make it better. Nobody can save anyone if Jesus has saved them. Give him a clapping offering. Give him a clapping offering. Praise God. Stretch first your, your hands towards the communion. Let the communion so will come. Anything you desire for on this last Sunday communion, for the, communion service for the Anything you desire. That shameful heart of unbelief, that thing that makes you to that God. Ask him to give, ask him to be destroyed today by the blood. We overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. We overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Take your healing, there is your healing here. There is deliverance here. Take your healing now, take your healing now, take your healing now. Take your healing now. From this communion, take your healing. Someone, wherever you are, open your, your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, and take your healing. Open your mouth and take your healing. Open your mouth and take your healing. Reko shaka to, relianda, obaka toko to, lika to le balaba. By the blood and the flesh of Jesus, Father, let everything that mock our glorious destiny be judged. Anything hindering the fulfillment of every prophetic word for 2017, let it be destroyed. Father, let there be diverse healing, let there be diverse deliverance by your blood. That evil heart of unbelief, let it be destroyed. That hopelessness, depression, and oppression of the devil by the blood, let it be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
Whatsoever the Lord that was not found in the life of Jesus is not permitted in us. In the name of Jesus. Makashubelanda la balia boshe kalia balabalaba. Oh kato keto kalia bashunde la ba. Alia baba bakato shia kava. Oba kato keto shia kava lia ndelo boshia balaba. Aba baba li basole balaba. Eke to koto lo boshia ndala balia basolo bo. Aba kato keto shia balabalaba. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Okay, from this you know, no sickness that followed you here will escape the power in this communion. In the name of Jesus, by the power in the flesh and the blood, everything my heavenly Father have not planted. Let it be rooted out. Let it be rooted out. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Let the desires of your people be granted on this communion table today. Everything you have not planted in our system, let it be rooted out. Let there be diverse healing and deliverance via this communion today. Father, whatever that makes anyone here to doubt you, but this blood is swallowed up in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, by this communion today, everything that is not your agenda for us for 2018, Follows us here. Let them drop in the name of Jesus Christ. It is blessed. It is not the flesh and the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Why? Jesus set me free from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus set me free. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus set me free from sin. that followed you here by the power in the word and the blood that sickness it is over in the name of Jesus Christ every prophetic word for the year as it concerns you and your family I decree in the name of God of this great commission and I stand I stand at the show of my father, Bishop David Redepo. I decree there shall not be any carryover in the name of Jesus Christ. Every one of them for the year shall be fulfilled in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall be fulfilled in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. That thing that makes you to that God today. It is over in the name of Jesus Christ. We baptize afresh with the spirit of faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone here hopeless? Today, your hope is restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Your hope in God is restored in the name of Jesus Christ. That depression is caused in the name of Jesus Christ. Go and have your testimony. Somebody shout a louder amen. Father, thank you. Make those hands to Jesus. As we celebrate him in praise, five minutes and we share the grace. We celebrate him in praise. Why are same praises to us? High praises. Five minutes and we share the grace and enter the second service. Hallelujah. Before they sing the praise, as we are dancing, if today is your first time of coming here, Please come forward here. Just take your bag and your Bible now. As you come forward. Today is your first time of coming here to worship with us. Please come forward. Let's welcome you. Let's receive you as we are here. Yeah, let's go. Today is your first time. Please come forward. Let's welcome you. Sifa bona, sifa bona. Nelaku 
you are blessed. Somebody shout a bigger hallelujah. Go in peace in the name of Jesus Christ. God will serve his servant the best at the last. And I decree that the best of this year shall be delivered to you in the name of Jesus Christ. You will end this year well in the name of Jesus Christ. You will end this year strong in the name of Jesus Christ. In this season and beyond, you are covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. Anyone traveling, your trip are covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. As God's servant have decreed, and all our members worldwide will not hear any evil news concerning anyone. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. 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 You will be given out. You will not be begging. The windows of open are open. Are open now for you in the name of Jesus Christ. The windows of heaven are open for you now in the name of Jesus. Financial favor will answer in your life. They say, in the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed. Please don't forget the instruction of God's servant in that memo we read today. During Shiloh, anointing was blessed. And bless, he said, we should be anointing ourselves on our forehead every day. And we also, we also make use of the prophetic mantle given to us that day. Hallelujah. I know that the angels of this great commission will go before you. In the name of Jesus Christ. As we started this year together, we are going to end this year together. Kama tulivuanza mwaka hupa moja, tutamaliza mwaka hupa moja. As we appear in first service in January, you will not be missing in the name of Jesus. None of your family member will be missing in the name of Jesus. Hakuna mwana family yako hata moja, takaya kuwa na kosekana. You are blessed. Mabarikiwa. Tell your neighbor, it is well with you. Mwambie jirani yako, ni salama kwa. Let's share the grace in fellowship. Shikishane mwana fadhili. Surely, God's goodness and message shall follow us. All the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. My case is different because I'm a redeemer of the Lord and as a covenant child, what I treat others is not permitted to affect me. Congratulations. Year 2018.